While studies have shown that you can get similar results training within a couple reps of failure, the majority of people have a very poor perception of what that is. I see this all the time in client videos when I prescribe an RPE of eight to nine and I take a look at their set and it's more like RPE six. All right, so first off, here's a good example of what a true all out set actually looks like, which is pretty rare to see because like JP mentions, most people significantly underestimate how close to failure they're actually training. And I'd say this is easily the number one reason why most lifters don't see the results they're after. It's not exercise selection, volume, frequency, technique. All of those things are obviously important and a lot of mistakes get made there as well. Well, but as long as someone is genuinely training close to failure and progressing over time, they can usually still make pretty decent gains even if those other factors aren't optimized. However, the opposite is not true. You can have the perfect science-based sequence of exercises all intelligently mapped out through the week and executed with textbook form, but if you're just plain not training hard enough, none of that stuff is going to matter and your results will only ever be mediocre at best.